seconds. You guys, we are doing the most Stacy Manny ever. All right, we're using Plaid You Came. This was a last year set. Some of the strips have like just a cream. They all have that gold dusting over it and some of it are a cream with like a little red maple leaf. So I'm just using the plaid today, just the plaid. And then the harvest one, yeah, happy harvest, which is the colored overlay with almost like a peaked in there. I think that's what it looks like to me anyway. And then thanks a million, which is as good as life could possibly get. And this was a, I want to say 2019. Yeah, 2019 Black Friday set. All right, so I do have to do a little um, doctoring, I guess, to get things the way I want it to be. I am not using Peely Base, even though this is a, like, a set I'm doing to get prepared for being busy. But I have prepared myself, I think, to the point that I can, basically, if I wanted to wear these for, like, a week, I could. Hang on, I don't like that cut job. It's a little crappy. There we go. So the reason I cut that is I want the heavily glittered, heavily, heavily glittered spot to be on my whole nail, right? Like that. I don't want it to look like a dip for this. So these, um, well, most of you probably have already worked with the Happy Harvest. I'm way late to the game of using it. I knew how I wanted to use it when I saw it. I wanted it to have some depth. I knew it wasn't going to work going over most colors. So... I thought by layering other glitters behind it, it'll give it that depth and almost make it, it should kind of make it look like leaves blowing in the wind. At least that's my thought. So I have on my regular old Orly. And now listen, see these? They have a teeny bit of like tealy green and blue in them like it matches eat teal you drop which we had last year I honestly did think about using um most definitely then thanks a million and then this to bring the blue in also but then I thought about having to remove three layers of glitter <laughs> It was going to take forever. <laughs> okay, I'm going to trim this down in hopes of A, trimming it evenly, and B, making it so I don't have to do a ton of edge cleanup. Because I'm using that on my pinky. Just that one single leaf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yay. Yay. Plus, my nails are so <laughs> ridiculously small right now. Pull that one off. I'm also using one of my sparkle sauces tonight and that is the copper one I'm trying to think if I sold any copper individually I do not think so I think they were only part of the everything bundles the mini and the big so if anybody got that I have a mini one left over from when we were when Marie and I were mixing it up so How cute is that? Oh, gourds. Okay. And then this ring finger is going to be this cute plaid bit. I 
should turn my mat on. Hang on. I can feel it in these ones. They're a little cold. It's so cute. It's so cute. There we go. And then that'll have Copper, copper top coat for extra glitter, and then the plumper for all the shine and plumpiness. Give me all your plumpiness. Yeah, these are really cute. Great color combo, really. Varfall. I was debating putting thanks a million over even the plaid sets, but because my nails are so short right now, it really would have just kind of hit it. It like it would have taken over. So I figured better not. All right now. Middle finger. This one's going to be good because it has more leaves on the strip. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous. With my nails short right now this is a good time to be doing this where I'm just wanting to use the middles oh pan guys this kid he's got a piece of crinkle paper from Amazon that he's been you know the brown paper that they wrap stuff in yeah He's been sleeping on it. I sprinkle treats on it for him and he smacks them all over and then has to find them and this time of night he really gets going though. If anybody would like me to send you this cat in a box you can have him every single night at about 11-ish. He's like, Rawr! And because him and him and Beef don't need to be split up anymore. He's just a full-time, full-on now. <laughs> Beef's like, yeah, he is. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, God. That's gorgeous. I like when things get dimension. And layering up some glitters is the easiest way to do it. I do think most definitely would have worked in here though you guys because it would bring out that little bit of bluish tealish whatever that is but it's beautiful just as it's too okay 
Now, what? Thanks a million does have some of those chunky top coat, chunky glitters you gotta nip versus pull though. I should have tried one of these um, plaids being wonky, kind of turned to a slant. I bet that would have been cute. I tend to like them more that way than I do straight on. I'll try it on the next finger if I've got enough strip left to do it. Usually I have to size up one size strip to do that. Let's see if it'll work. I mean, that nail's pretty small. So, oh yeah. Plenty of room. And then we'll compare them and see which is better. I'm already voting for this one just because I love a, like a plaid or whatever turned a little off kilter. I could have even went more off kilter. Yeah, I do like it like that though. Okay, now let's get the whoops, the thumbs on. I'm gonna cut them. Right below that. See if I can get them both cut. Somewhat evenly. I mean, that's not my strong point. <laughs> it's really not my strong point. <laughs> Doing things evenly. There we go. Ah. Uh, see that? I stretched it too much. And so it's like, whoop. That's why it's just easier to do things wonky. And why you don't want to stretch an art set. <laughs> it's okay because I'm going to put an overlay over it. But something to think about if you're using an art set that is like this kind of pattern. Where things are, in theory, going to go on straight. <laughs> nope, not today. They're not. This should be cute over it though. And this, as much as the plaid is, you know, plaid, it's not super busy with that kind of creamy background. It helps to, helps to make it not feel super busy. Oh, I love that partial one at the top. Yep, that's cute. I don't know what I can... Hang on. Should 
Sure, girl, sure. Throw it on there. Why not? Hang on, there's one more on here I'm going to rescue. That's a little sneaky side peeker. Oh, cute. I hate to see those go to waste, you guys. Super cute. Man, these are something, aren't they? Lord. Lord. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have spare ones on this because the snail is much longer. But we're about to find out. There, I didn't pull that one. So it didn't go wonky on me. Okay, wish us luck. Now these guys will feel left out if they don't get a little leaf. Oh, don't feel bad, friends. It's not your fault. Well, they can get a little. They just aren't going to get much, are they? Well, poopy. Okay, hang on here. I love the partials, you guys. They're my favorite. It's a partial, whatever. Heart, star, leaf. Whatever it is. This would have been cute. Why didn't I take out that? Canadian maple leaf overlay. That would have been cute on these too. Okay, now let's do these. I mean, that can go anywhere. It doesn't have to go at the top. It's going to go right there. Be careful, Pan. Oh, God, you guys. He was trying to climb up the arm of the chair, you guys. I just had dreams of me getting a great big claw on my arm. And really, they're not great big. They're tiny, but they're tiny and sharp. <gasps> That's so cute. Okay. Now we got this little guy left. I guess it wouldn't be dreams either. It would be nightmares. But he latches on to me like that all the time, so. There we go. We'll have it going off the end because we do run out of leaf. <laughs> we'll make it look purposeful. <laughs> what they don't know. They don't know won't hurt them. Yeah, so cute. Okay, now, let's check out the copper. I do want to turn my mat off. And I always put the post-it note down, you guys, because 
I mean, like I've said before, I have no idea how it works, but I feel like putting heat on any top coat is not going to be good. So, I mean, I've done, here's mine, here's my copper. Uh, I've done that, put a post-it note down to set it on long before I was mixing my own mixes, so. I just don't think heat's going to be good for any topper. Girl, I ain't going to get any copper to show over that. There's so much glitter. But it does show over these. And it's lovely. Yay. It's just as lovely when I paint a few pan hairs in, you guys. Which I do every day. Hang on, I see a little teeny ridge here I want to smooth. There. You must be able to see it, right? Let me put them side by side. Yes, you can definitely see it. I know mine is not um, as dense as your guys's because I was just getting what was... Like there was a bit left in the end of the cup. So I added enough to make myself a little jar. It's not as dense, but still is good. You going to bed, babe? Okay. Love you. <coughs> All right, now. I saw a bit, I think it's this one is going to need a little teeny bit nip down there. Yep, there we go. Alright, now, let me get that cleaned up. Yeah, that's real good. rest of them can wait and be filed. Whoops, not that guy. That was a big glitter piece. Oh my gosh, they're really cute. Oh, I love them. I want to kiss their faces. Okay. Oh, I see a string on this one finally. Okay. Let's see how string. Let's see if I'm just getting one string. Well, one string, I guess. I wonder if that didn't come from the edge. Well, now I gotta wonder if I was imagining things. Well, there was a string, I thought, at the start. But now it's not still stringing, so I'm wondering if it was, like, a bit on the edge or something. Oh god, it's so good. It's just so good. Even this bit on the side of my finger. You guys, I love this. Alright, let's see. No, it's not. Okay, well, I thought I saw a string. And now I'm not, so. Nope. I wonder if that's, that could be a pan hair, sorry. Could be false alarm pan hair. Because I really get a lot of those. Do you guys hear how quiet the tank is now? I had Josie fill it. But the drier it gets, the faster the water goes down. It drives me crazy. Oh, that is pan hairs. Sorry, you guys. See them all on my finger now. 
I thought that was a string. Okay, good. Because I really don't want to see strings in this. I'm really hoping for no strings. <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> it was just a cat hair. <laughs> oh, gourds. That one needs a little bit more on the... Like, there's this fine line of getting the sides covered as well as I want them covered and not painting the whole side of my finger. And I don't have that fine line under control yet. Just know that. And I say yet like I'm a beginner and I'm not, so... I want some more on here. Oh, I really did just paint that fiber in. And I can see it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you keep a little bit of pan with you wherever you go, Stacy. Oh, Lord. Can you guys see there's a pan hair running that way now? <laughs> that's funny but better a pan hair than stringy top coat is what I see I'm not getting any strings usually just spinning it around will give me some yeah it's still breaking off as it should like dripping off. Sorry to be a nerd about it, but now I have to. My nail friend, Linda Lloyd, who I call a top coat queen, um, she says if you make sure to clean off the round part of your bottle, the top of it, each time after you use it, it'll go a long way to helping you not get those strings. And now I'm wondering, like, if that would make a difference, you know, so you don't have all this stuff getting gummed up at the top. And to make sure you put your lid on very tight so there's not getting air in there. Either way, I love these. Even with a single pan here painted in. Alright guys, there it is. As fall as it gets for me, I'm in love. I'm in love and I'm in love. Seriously, they're beautiful. Alright, see you guys in a couple days.